This bar is very, very important. It carries a very special story and it, and it, and it dates. Um, the very first story comes back in about 50,000 years ago. Now, this story is still happening right now. And it's about Mother Earth. It's about us. It's about survival and creating um, this way called heart. It's called Makawi Chakpe We Chokha, the ways of the, the Earth star ways, which are the universal and spiritual laws of Creator. Now, this specific bar is a replica of the bars that were found in the crashes of Socorro in New Mexico and also some in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. And the bars were from one inch to two inch, four inch and six inches and the longest one was 18 feet. And they carried the remembrances of this universe and they carried the remembrances of the creation as well. So. Some of you will feel these, and these are, come from the highest sources on, around this universe. And it's, it's the, it's, they call these the universal and spiritual laws. The universal laws are feminine, the masculine laws are spiritual. They're the yin and yang of laws of God, you could say. Now, <clears throat> we need to get back into this way called heart. Chante. These last 2,000 years we've been in the mind. We've been growing in the mind. And uh, many people have used their mind well, and many people haven't. And there's so much karma that's created from this way of the mind that it destroys universes. Now we come and we we're here on Mother Earth at this time, but we have destroyed so much in our path. We've destroyed Maldek. We've messed up Mars. We destroyed Mu, Lemuria, Atlantis. And we're here. We're here on Mother Earth. We're here on Turtle Island. And we need to get back into that way that will help us to keep Mother Earth alive, for she is she's very much alive at this time. So one of the ways that we need to understand, especially for the men folk, is to start listening to your women. Seriously. Because this age is here called Aquarius. It's a very high sacred feminine age. And you're not going to be able to stand against the women folk because this is their time. All the men could do is stand with them and support them. If you try to stand in front of them, you're going to fall down. And falling down means you can have heart attacks if you don't get into your heart. So the women folk know this, they feel this, and the men folk, us men folk, including me, we're at that, at that first step of knowing, and we're still carrying the influences of Pisces that we're fighting our women, trying to hold ground, and we can't. It's their time. That's just the natural way. So we need to listen to the women folk, because they're the ones that are going to help us get back into our heart. Well, men folk, don't be afraid to cry. Don't be afraid to shed tears. I've seen more men do this now. Before it was men don't cry. But it's a very sacred time for a man to cry. It's a very special time for a man to heal during that moment. So help each other. We're in this together. We can't afford to destroy Mother Earth through the lack of being in our heart. At this time, we are in the way of knowing. We're not in the way of thinking anymore. 
We think too much and we could think anything and analyze everything into nothing. It's the time of knowing. You just know. And there's no explanation for that. Because we evolved into, into from the 3D world all the way up into 13th dimensional areas. And we know that, we feel that. So, we have the information here that's needed. We have the information from the universe for the universal law of free will. We have the information of the spiritual freedom of all, the, the universal law of change, the spiritual law of growth, the universal law of innocence, truth, and family, and the spiritual protection of family, the universal law of cemeteries and the spiritual laws of equality, the universal law of life and the spiritual law of choice, the universal law of light, sound, and vibration, and the spiritual law of intuition, the universal laws of judgment and those of karma, the spiritual laws of karma, the universal laws of nature and the spiritual protection of mankind, the universal law of love, the spiritual laws of healing, the universal law of perception and the spiritual laws of future sight, which is prophecy. So within this dream, within this storytelling way, we are the story. We have to leave a good, beautiful story as a collective consciousness for Mother Earth. When we leave, we got to leave our legacy. We are those relatives that we call ascended masters and teachers and healers which you all are under the laws of attraction we are here we carry the same vibration each one of us we are all family we all have responsibilities sacred responsibilities we all have a mission we all have a purpose so let's do it well.